So we're trying to find an analogy with the argument in passage A. So first of all, we have to figure out what the argument in passage A is, right? Hannah, what did you consider the argument in passage A to be? That's right. If the, if this is not what was the uh, the goal here was to deter future crime, right? And if the the main motivation was uh, retribution or something, right? And they're saying, hey, if, if if our goal is to prevent crime and this isn't working, then we shouldn't even punish them at all. That was the last sentence in there. Mm -hmm. So what'd you end up picking, Hannah? C. C. Because of this. Find something else, yes. So it wasn't working for math, so we should get something else. What'd you end up picking? I picked B, but I was also rational. B, economic models generally presume that actors in an economy are entirely rational. I think they were trying to tap into the whole like rational idea, right? Um, but psychological studies have documented many ways in which people make irrational choices. Okay, thus economic models should not be able to predict human behavior. Uh, it's a little bit disconnected. It's sort of getting rid of what we've been doing. It's just saying, hey, this doesn't work. Any other answers that were tempting here for B or for 21? E. E. Yeah, E I thought was tempting. Being an autonomous does not imply having full control over one's behavior. After all, here's something in which we don't have full control over behavior, right? I think this still doesn't go as far as, okay, well, let's get rid of what we've been doing. It misses that element. Yeah. 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 Yeah